Hi, and welcome back. I got an amusing comment from a viewer yesterday. To paraphrase, when null testing, I usually ignore any differences below minus 100 dB. But we have 120 dB of dynamic range available, so that leaves 20 dB, one-sixth of our total dynamic range, right? How can I possibly say that's not significant? I'm not going to screenshot it or quote it directly, because I don't want to shame the commenter at all. It's a perfectly reasonable question, if you don't understand how decibels work. The thing is, we probably all should understand how decibels work. It's kind of fundamental. All our volume faders and preamp gains are calibrated in decibels. Likewise, dynamics thresholds and EQ gains. We measure our peak levels in dBFS. This really should get covered on day one of audio school. So while I'm still in low effort mode, let's tackle perhaps the most important and fundamental question so far on my channel. I'm going to start by talking about a different logarithmic scale, however, that most musicians will probably feel more comfortable with. Pitch. When you increase the pitch of a note by 12 semitones, or one octave, you're actually doubling the frequency. When you decrease the pitch by one octave, you're actually halving the frequency. Key point, adding and subtracting in terms of pitch is equivalent to multiplying or dividing the frequency. Decibels work in much the same way. If you add 6 dB of gain, what you've actually done is multiply the amplitude by 2. In the digital domain, that means multiplying all the sample values by 2. In analogue, it means doubling the voltages. And if you attenuate by 6 dB, that means you halved all the sample values, or voltages, or whatever. Adding gain in decibels means multiplying amplitudes by a value greater than 1. And subtracting gain means dividing by a value greater than 1. Although in code, that will probably mean multiplying by a value between 0 and 1 instead. So a few points. A decibel is actually a ratio. When someone says a rock concert can be as loud as 120 decibels, that doesn't actually mean anything. 120 decibels louder than what, exactly? It's like saying that note is three semitones. Three semitones away from what? Middle C? A at 440 hertz? The Schumann resonance? Decibels only become an absolute scale when some letters are appended to designate a reference level. Minus 6 dB FS means 6 dB quieter than full scale. dBU and dBV both specify analogue voltages as references. The rock concert figure probably should have been dB SPL rather than just dB, which would mean 120 dB louder than the quietest thing humans can hear. So, armed with this knowledge, let's think about why that comment was so wrong. First of all, we're not dealing with a total of 120 dB of dynamic range. Technically speaking, all digital audio formats have infinite dynamic range. They can all do total silence, right? Just a string of zeros. Well, that's not minus 120 dB, that's minus infinity. Every 6 dB of attenuation halves the amplitude, and you can theoretically do that forever without reaching zero. With 16-bit audio, you can get down to about minus 90 dBFS before it suddenly jumps to minus infinity. 24-bit audio can go as small as minus 140 dBFS before suddenly dropping to zero, or, if you're doing it correctly, disappearing into the dither noise. The floating-point audio in your door can get hundreds of decibels below full scale before turning into zeros. My commenter used the glass of water analogy. If there's 120 dB of water in the glass, and you remove 100 dB, that leaves 20 dB of water, so 16.6% of the original contents. But we don't have a total dynamic range of 120 dB. We have a total dynamic range of infinity dB. If you subtract 100 dB from that, you're left with infinity dB still. Attenuating the water level by 6 dB would mean pouring half the water away, leaving you with 50% of the original contents. If we do the maths, or pop the figures into this conversion site which I'll link below, it turns out attenuating the water level by 100 dB would leave you with approximately 0.001% of the original content. Okay, that's all for now. I promise there'll be a higher effort video soon.
Thanks for watching.